What is going on guys, it's your boy DPJ back with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video we're going to talk about the hotfix 1.0.2.2 for Destiny which went live on the 14th of October which is today but you're probably watching this on a later date. They have ruined my gun, I mean I've just got the Vex Miflo class and they've already nerfed it. I just can't believe my damn luck, I only wrecked people with it about 5 or 6 times online and now they've gonna ruin the gun for me, I just I just don't get it. This gun is rewarded to people who complete their actual Vault of Glass raid on the hardest difficulty setting available. This gun should be slightly overpowered in my opinion, although in my opinion as well it isn't. it wasn't that much overpowered. I mean you wreck people online with it, if you're a good player and you get hold of this Vex Miflo class you're gonna destroy people. But it won't turn a bad player good. It isn't that overpowered. I just don't get what they're doing. I mean, I wreck people with my um, Suicide Regime just as much as I wreck people with my Vex Mifel class. So I just don't get what they've done. But I'll read you guys through the summary, the boss, and etc, 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 etc. So let's just get into it. I'm actually on the website, so you may have to bear with me. But the summary states... The most recent hotfix 1.0.2.2 for Destiny goes live on the 14th of October. This hotfix includes a number of changes to weapon balance across archetypes, e.g. lowering auto rifle effectiveness and increasing scout rifle damage. Uh, specific weapons are the Vex, Mithril class and the Pocket Infinity and includes a number of fixes to issues with the Templar encounter in the Vault of Glass. You know where everybody hid behind a rock shooting at him? Uh, now you can't do that no more which is a shame because that was an easy way of getting actually all past him. Now, we're still working on a large update which will address underperforming exotics and overall class balance. Yes, I'm still waiting for them to fix my bad juju and my form because both weapons absolutely suck for exotics. Now, General uh, fixed a bug with the Valkyrie 05X ship where it was the same as the Aurora Lance. Classes, uh, the Titan, the Unbreakable fixed an issue with the perk granting more agility than intended. Warlock, Brimstone, perk can now activate if player is airborne. Uh, weapons, General fixed some issues related to quick weapon swapping. Auto rifles, base damage decreased by 2%. Reduced precision damage multiplier from 1.5 to 1.25 for a headshot bonus. Stability decreased by 4 to 17% driven by stat value. The overall 2% damage uh, decrease is nothing great, it's like 1% damage decrease per shot, that's absolutely nothing. Hand cannons in air accuracy now increased, scout rifles, base damage increased by 6%, uh, damage versus combatants increased by 6 to 25% based on tier, improved target acquisition plus additional recoil tuning. Shotguns decreased base damage at maximum range, fall off by 20%. Shotgun package perk now has a slightly wider cone of fire. The range finder and shot package perks are now mutually exclusive. Exotic weapons, the Vex Mithril class, base damage decreased by 34%. I can't believe it. They've ruined my damn gun, man. What have you done? Why have you nerfed this weapon so badly? Base damage decreased by 34%. That is insane, man. It's probably going to take an extra two bullets. And considering this weapon doesn't shoot as fast as many may think, it isn't going to be as powerful. You're going to get dropped. I mean, a lot of the time I lost gunfights from Suicide Regimes. And there's another weapon which I can never remember. Shadow Price, that is the weapon. The Shadow Price. A lot of the time... I lost a lot of gunfights from the Seuss Regime and the Shadow Prize. Even when I started shooting first with my Vex Mithril class, if it goes to that certain range, you will lose gunfights all day long by other auto rifles. It's just the way it is. The Vex has no range whatsoever. And now they've decreased the base damage by 34%. They've just ruined this weapon. This weapon may go into my vault now until they buff it again because that's just ruined it increased this is another um, i'm still under vex by the way increased precision damage multiplier from 1.25 to 1.50 and that is headshot bonus that's a plus but still that ain't, <laughs> that ain't gonna make up for the base damage decrease moving on to the pocket infinity enhanced battery perk has now been replaced with a speed reload perk basically there was a perk on this weapon where you could shoot uh, the pocket infinity if you didn't know which i've got a video coming up on it is an actual fully automatic fusion rifle and it's a perk that enhanced battery is a perk where it had eight bullets 
Now that has been replaced with a perk which is basically the speed reload and now you can only have 3 bullets but may I just state as well the actual perk where you had 8 bullets and shot them fully auto the actual lost power in each bullet so when you got to the 8th it's basically like spitting on your opponent so it isn't actually a nerf to the weapon I'd say this is basically probably a fix in my opinion now perks we move on to the metal detector fixed a bug that prevents this perk from actually providing additional ammo lightweight fixed a bug that allowed additional agility to apply even when a weapon was stalled uh, activities strike engram rewards now appear in post game activity summary raid the vault of glass templar encounter kill volume added to sniper platforms to prevent players from sitting on top of them Relic is now removed and respawned if the holder leaves the playable area. Basically, this is where a lot of people will jump in behind a rock and shooting a guy. If you leave the actual platform, um, the relic will respawn so you can't get to that platform, which is a bit of a bummer, but it's just people will find other ways anyway, that's nothing. And the final thing they put in a statement in this actual hotfix, the Fallen have also retreated from their hold over the rocket yard to discuss a new takeover plan. Basically this is them, this is Bungie, uh, patching the actual loot caves that people will go into in the rocket yard on the Cosmodrome. But people will find new things and if we do, I'll let you guys know them. But guys, what do you think about these hotfixes? I'm gutted that they actually patched, they nerfed the Vex Mifflow class. I mean, I'm screwing about that. But what do you guys think? Let me know down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. Thanks as always for watching and peace out till next time. Peace.